If you're like me and journal every day with pen and paper, but you would also like to keep a digital copy of it, I wanna show you how you can do it. I use Obsidian and the plugin that I developed with my brother Ben, which is called File Organizer 2000. So first I will explain why I need this solution, and second I will tell you how I solve it. So I usually start my day by writing what's on my mind, sometimes a few lines, sometimes more. It's something I do to know where I'm at, mentally speaking. And one thing that keeps happening over the years is that I need to leave my notebooks in some place as I accumulate them. Then, as I tend to move very often, I just leave them someplace and I don't have access to them, as I have quite a nomadic lifestyle. And some eventually got lost, uh, while in Bali, for example, also some started getting moldy with the humid climate. So that really made me look for a good solution to this. And I thought about sealing my notebooks in airtight boxes for better storage, simply writing my notes digitally, or um, just taking pictures of my paper journals to keep a copy of them. But none of those solutions ticked all the boxes, which are the feeling of writing with pen and paper, which I really can't give up on, keeping a physical copy of it. I also really like to be able yeah, to, after I write my thoughts, I like to see them and touch the paper on which um, I wrote it. Then what I also need to be able to do is to keep a digital copy so that I can make it searchable afterwards and also having access to that note anytime, anywhere. Okay, so how I solve this. So now every day when I'm done writing my journal, I just snap a picture of it and send it to my Obsidian Vault. If you don't know about the app, it's simply a note-taking app, but with some really useful capabilities, thanks to the large plugin ecosystem that it has. So once it's sent there, uh, if I check my laptop, I see my journal of the day with the text digitized and the note automatically organized into my vault with a title and add it to my journal folder. And now I have it accessible right here on my phone or my computer as well whenever I need it. And I have a copy of the image and the text is digitized, which is especially useful because that means it's now searchable, as I mentioned before. It's now also stored in my iCloud, which guarantees access to my journal for years hopefully decades to come. So I can get back and see where my mind was on that 6th of February, 2024. I can add notes to it and even use ChatGPT to try to psychoanalyze my thoughts if I want to. So there you go, guys. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope some of you found it useful. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to see more tips like this in the future.